everyone, it's me Ellie from Access Press Themes. Today in this video tutorial of Access Press Pro, I'm going to show you how you can add your event on the event sidebar and even have some changes on it. So let me show you the demo. Well, this is the demo content that we provide to you and this is the demo content of the event. Well, you can change that and to do that, let me show you how. Just log into your WordPress dashboard. Here in the left side, you'll see an event button. Just click on add new. Then enter your event title. I'm going to write event 1. You can write anything you want to. Then enter your content. Well, I'm going to get it from here. Then set a feature image. Well, you can get it from the media library if you already had one, have one, or you can upload a new file. So I'm going to get this one and set it as a feature image. Well, here you will get an option that is to publish it immediately or to publish it in the later date. In the future, to do that, just change the date here and click on OK and then publish it. Well, as your uh, event is published, let's see what change it brings on the front end of the website. Well, here you can see your event is published. Well, there are other settings also that you can do with this. So to see that, let's go to the dashboard. Just click on appearance and then theme option. Here in the home page setting, you'll find some of the settings that you can do in the event section. That is, disable event, event section. That is, if you check on this option, then your welcome post will cover the whole area, just disappearing the event sidebar. And here is the event section title, which you can change. Currently, it is latest event, but you can write anything on it, like current event or anything you want to. Here you can also select the number of posts that you want to show. Right now it's four posts that's showing in the home page, but um, you can show any number of posts you want. Then here is another option that is sort by event date. If you check on it, your uh, event will be sorted by the event date. And here is another option that is hide event date. If you don't want to show the date of the event, you can simply check on it and click on save options. Now let's go to the front end of the website and see the change. Here you can see the number of posts I have selected and the other simple changes that I have made like the event title. So this event section can also be disabled like I have said in previously in the theme option in the home page. You can always disable this event section or you can replace it with a widget. To replace it with a widget, you need to go to appearance and then click on widget. Here are some of the widget that we had provided to you. Okay, select one. Well, just to show you, I'm going to select calendar drag it and simply drop it there enter the calendar title well I'm gonna write calendar and save it then now let's go to the front end and let's see the change we'll see as you can see that your event sidebar is replaced by calendar so in this way you can bring you can add your events and also bring some changes in it. So thank you very much for watching this video.